welcome back to another video guys thank you guys for joining me your boy tony today um i got a little bit of a project today that i've been wanting to do for a very long time and there was a few things always in the way of me not being able to do that um one uh they're rare two they don't really make them for hrs but let me try to explain a little bit as to what i'm kind of trying to do today so this is my engine bay 2007 nissan 350z intakes exhaust tuned by your boy admin um I mean the homies did all the work on it but we're not here to discuss that today as you guys know there's like this thing right here that people have that's like a that's like a radiator air guide and it looks dope but you kind of have always a space right here because of your latch but i don't have a latch no more so i'm thinking of making one that blocks all of this off and just guides air through over there and it doesn't come up since you guys know my hood is kind of flimsy i'm gonna try to do that um i got some materials left over i didn't want to spend a single dollar on this but i have some materials left over uh this is basically going to be my template right here the chips box is gonna be my template and then i have some material left over from when we did the the engine bay in my bug with this material and it's pretty light it's nothing crazy so i'm gonna try to do that but first we gotta make that template and then we'll, we'll go from there see 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 how much we need man shouldn't be too hard I'm just gonna use these simple tools, a pen, uh, potentially chalk if I can't see the line, and I'm gonna just use scissors to cut. All right, there we go. All the way to the back. Um, lining up one side and the other side. We're just gonna draw the line, watch. Let me see. Line it up, straight right there. All right, we Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci. Here we are right here. I took, took up the top flat pieces so I could just be straight. So again, line it up on the side where you want it. I want it all the way to the edge right there. Right here where you're gonna draw the line, so watch. Right there. Let me see, right here. Let's see if that comes out well. There you go. Again. It looks good. I like it. Gotta fix it a little bit. I'm gonna start doing like these end pieces right here. Get those dialed in. How we looking? How we looking? Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Now I didn't make a notch for this thing, which is the hardest part, I think, for me, personally. But it's not, like, flat. You see how it sticks out a little bit more over here than over here? It's just one of those things, man. So I think it's as flat as we're going to get it. That's good right there. I'm going to have to take off this edge right there. Over here. There we go. Personally, I would have liked it to come all the way to the edge like this right here, but uh, I can always just stick it out a little bit more. I don't know how many revisions we've done, but every single time it looks a little bit better. And I keep messing up though, but I'm gonna try to make it all even. If I can make it all even, I'm gonna be happy with that. So just trim a little bit in the center. There we go, let's get it. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Hey, that looks good to me, guys. I'm not going to lie. That looks really good. I'm down to just run the cardboard. Why lie? See, in this way, it covers up all this stuff. Like, literally, you can't see it. That's clean, man. I love that. This car looks so cool from the front end. But now that we got our template here, uh, we're going to take it and transfer it onto the aluminum. Or the stainless steel, my bad. I'm not aluminum. Stainless steel. And uh, see if we can get this thing popping, man. Cause it looks, it looks good. I just want to see it done already. So let's, let's get, let's get on to doing that. Cut it out. Should be fit now. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's a very tight fit right there. All right, let me see. This looks good. I think I'm gonna have to trim a little bit right here. A little corner right there. Might have to trim both corners to be honest, because of the shape. All right, here we go, again. Oh, still short, damn it. I'm gonna have to just cut a little bit open. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I overshot the gap. I needed to actually trim right here and right here, like the edges and stuff, but I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks fine. It'll still get the job done, you know? Might still trim it a little bit right about there in the corner, but other than that, I think it looks great. I'm not sure what the proper way to run it is, like underneath or over. Uh, I also need to trim right here a little bit, but I'm not sure what the proper way is to run it, like underneath or over my bumper, but we'll see. I still need to make some holes and stuff because I'm going to figure out how, do I, how I can permanently leave it on the bumper so when I take off the bumper I take it off or it should or to make it easier just to put off and on you know shouldn't be too hard probably just make the two holes that I have for these existing ones and just use those two points don't need much other than that I don't like the stainless steel look so hopefully we'll be either graffiti in this along with the under of the hood so we'll see got some ideas in, in the works this is how we're getting it done right now man I got a, a battery pack right here connected to the GoPro and I had a bit of an idea I already traced it out on the on the final product and I didn't like how it came out all the way because it, it don't seem like this is needed to be covered you feel me so I, I kind of trimmed it up and I'm trying to make it fit within right here so it can come down underneath the bumper because I wanted a the finished product I want I want to be like this something like that then I can uh, bolt it up like right there right here and probably up top right here so on the template, I made it a little bit like that to give it room so it could hopefully line up. That's my plan, but we'll see what happens, man. All right, so I got some screws, man. These are not special screws. I just like them because they're black. These are just basically the ones for the interior and stuff, and I just had a bunch of extra ones because gutted boys. And I just put two screws right there, and it's, it's pretty strong. I might put two more later on, like right here and right here. Maybe one in the middle because there's a tab, but I mean, that'll work. That'll definitely work right there. I'll probably just do two more later on just to reduce the rattles, but it's on there, man. All I used was the drill, smallest drill bit I had, and I just basically ran the ran the, ran the the screws in. That's it. Nothing to it, man. I'm probably going to do... Whoa, whoa. Why is this thing falling, man? 
It all of a sudden got super windy. Super low key. I'll do some art over it later. Maybe paint two tunas on it or something, you know? Now, I'm gonna try to explain why you would even need to do something like this. So like, I for me, anything that helps out, any everything on a race car adds up. That's always been my mindset. That's always been on where I've been at. But this particularly helps with airflow that comes in through right here. And now it comes up right here. And since I have a pretty flimsy roof and it doesn't seal up this certain area right here, uh, all the air comes up from there and it pushes the hood up. And since it's already flimsy, I don't need more air pressure on it. But let's say you guys have everything stock. It just runs it better, helps cool it faster. It helps uh, keep the operating temperatures the way they need to be at. If it's beneficial, I don't see a reason not to do it. This doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't cost me anything. If you guys want to do it yourself, uh, I've gotten sheets of metal like this at Home Depot for like less than 10 bucks. So for less than 10 bucks and less than an hour of work to do this and a couple screws, man, I don't see a, I don't see a single reason as to why you could say you wouldn't want to, you know? Plus, if you want to make it look good, you make it come out all the way to the top. If you want to do it up, do it down, do whatever you guys want, man. I just kind of wanted to have my little space on the end to put my tools and stuff when I work on the car. So I'll probably just keep it like that. I'm happy with how it came out, man. I don't like the 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 stainless steel look. That's definitely got to go though. But other than that, I'm 100% satisfied, man. Now all the air has nowhere else to go because the air will always go to the path of least resistance. And obviously it's a lot of resistance having to go through the radiator fins. So it naturally just wants to come up right here. And since I don't have anything here, like latch or anything or anything, like literally putting pressure on the hood right there, all the air would just come up. So I'm not trying to help reduce that, try to make it more efficient efficiency is key on a race car man that's why we took out everything in here that's why we do what we do i just wanted to help explain that a little bit and i know companies will will tax you for this i know the cheapest one's probably like over 100 bucks and if you go carbon fiber sheesh good luck with that man of course if you think you can't do it and whatever and you have the money for it go for it i don't i don't really trip you know you shouldn't trip either if you got the money for it and don't want to do it but for those diyers like your boy over here I need that plug, man. So hopefully this was helpful and beneficial to you guys. I'm gonna just hop inside the whip, just end the video real quick. Um, it's super windy outside and I gotta go to work in a bit, so I need to go get ready. Uh, I just kind of been working on this project. It's like a two day project. Yesterday, I kind of made the template, made the mold and whatnot. And I was never really satisfied with the way it looked cause I was like, it's gonna take a lot of work to cover all that up with like paint or art or whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. So. And I was thinking, like, if I do that, where am I going to put my tools? Because if I make it too nice, I'm not going to want to put my tools on it and blah, blah, blah. All this other stuff, right? And uh, shout out to 350Z 247 The homie makes super educational videos. Um, and I just kind of took his knowledge, whatever he said about it. Um, and I just kind of ran with it, you know? Made my own thing. Uh, hopefully make it my own, you know? I'm excited, man. I, I always really wanted one. I just never... I could never justify the price for it. Nor... I always knew in my head that I was going to have hood pins. Always knew, man. Since the moment I got the car, I knew I was going to have foot pins. With that being said, guys, I don't want to trail on too long. I don't know how videos, how long this video is going to be. Quick little install, man. It shouldn't take too long to do this. But I like that I showed you every step of the way. Mostly, for the most part. But you guys know what it's like to cut. Hopefully, you guys have better tools than me. I usually never try to have crazy topics towards the end of the videos. But I always like to share some motivation and some, some help. And I was listening to this podcast earlier today. I, watched, I listened to a lot of podcasts. I was listening to this podcast. I talked about this effect that we have on our minds when we have tasks and goals for ourselves because certain goals we set for ourselves and then certain other goals are brought up onto us by our mind because our minds go crazy even though we don't even though we don't even though we try to control it it still goes crazy on its own it's a mind it has it's literally got a mind of its own so when we have specific goals set for ourselves our mind can directly our mind will not stop until it can reach those goals so it'll just constantly keep working for you and when you start off maybe you feel like oh i can't do this this is out of hand blah 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 right but when you do that it helps your mind focus in on what you actually need to get that done whether it's bringing up opportunities bringing up people bringing up certain events that you need to do whatever it is that you guys want to do you feel me so that, that's what i was listening to this morning and i'm like that's why that's why i got my vision board that's why i got my whiteboard with all my ideas on it man i'm telling you like I'm so laser focused on this tune this thing, bro. Like, like I used to struggle to have content. Now it's just kind of free flowing content because it's what I do. I'm normally a car guy. You feel me? Like, you know, I'm not doing YouTube to have nice cars. I'm doing YouTube to share with you my journey. 
I was just kind of doing it for documenting purposes, but you guys are enjoying the journey and I love sharing my knowledge with you guys and I love learning with you guys. And that's kind of what we bring on to here. And I want to share my mindset and my goals and my stuff, like the stuff that goes on in here, I want to share with you guys. Cause maybe it might help you guys. Maybe you guys are in a tough spot. Maybe where I was two months ago, maybe where I was two years ago and you need to hear this, you know? I always do my best to try to help all my people, man. I hope this was beneficial to some way, shape or form to you. If you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'm super grateful for you guys for watching every single one of the vlogs. Um, I hope you guys are on the lookout, man. I got a bunch of dope stuff right now. I'm working on, there's a ton of parts in the back. If you guys can see that, there's a ton of parts in the back. There's boxes on top of parts, on top of parts over there in the back too. And I got some more parts coming in that just came in today. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the content, man. Content's gonna go crazy this summer. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too, man. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.